Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Tomorrow's the Super Bowl. We're going to have a Super Bowl party here tomorrow. I've been out shopping with David Wiley. We've gotten some meats and stuff for tomorrow, and we're going to have some meatball subs. And um, Well, we're going to have meatballs. I'm not going to have any subs, and we're going to have an Italian sub, but I'm not going to eat the Italian sub part of it. I'm going to eat the meats. I'm going to be eating the meats, but I'm not going to have the bread. I'm going to try and be keto. We're going to have some Joe Boo wings and everything. You know, we're going to do like we do. So while I was out and spending some time with my wife, we heard that Sean McVay is contemplating retiring because he wants to start a family, which is admirable. He's a young guy. If he ends up getting the Super Bowl, you could see that because he could still have – his options open about coming back and he could end up getting his family started, spend time with the kids and stuff and still work, you know, making about $10 million in the booth, which is not a bad gig at all. And so we had that news, which was interesting to say the least. Um, then of course there's news about Washington, but you know, Washington, <laughs> Washington deserves its own video. They've literally had the week from hell and you, you, we're going to have fun with Washington later. We're going to have fun with Washington later. It's just too much to recap everything that's happened and now the bad news for Washington, too. I, I, the, you know, Washington commanders up and away. They need their own video. But then there's Gronk, who was talking about his best friend, Tom Brady, and saying that he thinks that Tom Brady will take a couple years off to recharge his batteries and that he'll – Unretire. Wow. Wow. He'll be in his late forties. Okay. All right. But the biggest news that we have actually today is Sean Payton talking about giving Mike McCarthy a call. You'll remember at the honors night before last, this happened. Coach of the year, MVP, uh, the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Oh, God, that reminds me. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Sean Payton, who retired from the Saints after 16 years of coaching. Let's give it up for Sean Payton. He did a great job there. Sean, uh, Sean will now return to his true passion, finding a way to take Mike McCarthy's job. So, Hell, Greg, is this, is this supposed to be music playing right now? Ooh, I don't know about that joke, Eli. I mean, look, we all know Keegan is a pro. He nailed the delivery, but I'd be too much of a thinker. A thinker? What? Uh, uh, Eli, Peyton, guys, <laughs> what, 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 is, what is happening? Are you doing a Manning cast of the NFL honors? Oh, yeah. ESPN2 has us mic'd up 24-7 now. I haven't gone to the bathroom in three days. I'm too shy. Just pretend, just pretend we're not here, Keegan. No big deal. Just relax. Relax? I'm in the middle of hosting a live television show. I, okay, all right, I can try. I'll try. Okay, look, back to that cowboy joke. Eli, what'd you think of it? Honestly, I felt bad for Dak Prescott in the audience. Uh, can we cut to Dak? Can we cut to Dak? What, do they have control over the cameras? Sorry, Dak. I'm sorry. you. Eli, you're exactly right. I mean, look at Dak. He doesn't know how to react to a Mike McCarthy joke. I mean, what's he supposed to do? Smile? Frown? It's impossible to decide. Yeah. That's why I never change my facial expression. <laughs> oh, that's why. That makes sense. That is absolutely brilliant, to tell you the truth. Hey, can we check out that reel of Eli's face not Ch moving? Let's check out the reel. What? They're doing... Oh, wow, he never changes his face. That is good stuff, Eli. <laughs> I couldn't even tell if you were awake. That's my brand. That's his <laughs> brand. When we come back, our guest will be Billy we Crystal, come back. a man who knows a thing or two about award show hosting. That's true. He's got some notes also on Keegan's opening musical number. Okay, let's, let's, let's just move on. Can we move on? How about we just move on? Yeah, that, that was funny. That was truly funny. But here's what Sean Payton said. Um, you know what? 
it's a good idea because I felt like it took place for a while with Jason Garrett. A good friend of mine who I coached with the Giants. Okay, wait, let's stop there for a second. So you're buddies with Jason Garrett because you coached him, and Mike McCarthy took his job. Am, am, am I okay? Are you following me here? Okay. And he goes on. Still a close friend to this day. So are we saying that we got an axe to grind? And I consider Mike someone who's a close friend. I consider him as someone who's a close friend. But you just admitted how you're a close friend with, with Jason Garrett. And you say, I consider Mike. Really? Really? Mike's done it long enough. We both entered the league as head coaches the same year in 2006. We're the same age, and we're from the same background. Look, our paths have been different. I'm his biggest fan. And I think I'm one of those guys who's a favorite, uh, who's a fantastic, I'm sorry. And I think he's one of those guys who's a fantastic coach. You know, when I hear I'm his biggest fan, I think of like Skip Bayless saying, oh, I'm Dak Prescott's biggest fan, but, or I think of Dan Orlowski, oh, but nobody's a bigger fan of him than me, but could you imagine, could you imagine Mike McCarthy getting a call to be reassured by Sean Payton? I'm imagining that Sean Payton would, you know, call him. Ring. Hello, Mike McCarthy here. I I could see that. I, I would love to be eavesdropping on that call where he is there to ease his mind of keeping his job if he has to call him to reassure him then he's fragile but i can bet you this is what he would be saying to mike mccarthy Mark Holmes, i'm coming for your meat <laughs> mike mccarthy i'm coming for your meats i i, I you, you see how it's going here you you see how this is going and then, of course, he would finish up the conversation. 23-hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. King Kong ain't got shit on me. King <laughs> And other than that, <laughs> I mean, seriously, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. That Sean Payton says, you know, I think I should call Mike McCarthy to reassure him about his job. All jokes aside, do you really and truly think that if Sean Payton calls him up, says, hey, Mike, man, what you doing? You know, I, I really don't want the job of the Cowboys, man. I, it's, I, I don't know where those rumors came from. I know I got a house in Dallas and stuff, and, you know, I, I know that, that you took a job of, of a of close friend of mine and, you know, and, and Jerry and I, are, we're buddies and things, and Jerry said some things. But, you know, there, there, there's nothing to it. I, I've not thought about coming to the Cowboys to coach them and lead them to a Super Bowl. No. And I'm sure Mike McCarthy would say, I feel so much better, even though I got Dan Quinn right next to me, right in line, waiting for me. Wow. Sean Payton calling. Dan Quinn. You can't make this shit up, guys. I hope you all are having a great day. And um, I, I don't even know what else to say about this. Uh, it, it, it's crazy. I guess the final thing will be the next phone call that Sean Payton makes to him is. All right, we've had a little bit of fun with this thing, but, you know, um, hats off to uh, Mike McCarthy because if he can make it through all of this stuff with Jerry Jones and everything else uh, going through his litany of things and the, the, the stuff that he said and so on, 
God bless him. If he can coach through this, he is a real, real coach. With that being said, I'm going to be out of here, and I will see you guys later.